If you go to the beach at the Jersey Shore, it's a sight you've probably seen many times. The bright red MH-65 Dolphin helicopter flying low along the oceanfront. It's given Jersey Shore residents a bit of a beachscape bonus for many years, and for those who find themselves imperiled at sea, a literal lifeline between survival and becoming lost to the vast ocean. The Dolphin is a utility helicopter developed in the latter part of the Cold War by Aerospatial, the French firm that eventually became a key member of the consortium of companies that went on to form today's Airbus. A much upgraded version is known as the Eurocopter AS365, and variants have been developed for military use worldwide, including even an attack role in Chinese service. The newest high-tech variant of the Dolphin is the MH-65E, known as the Echo. The first airframe was delivered to Air Station Atlantic City, located at Atlantic City International Airport a few weeks ago, and crews have been undergoing training for some time. The avionics upgrade to the E variant will provide enhanced search and rescue capabilities, including a modern glass cockpit that increases pilot and aircrew situational awareness. The Dolphin upgrades also include reliability and capability improvements for the automatic flight control system, enhanced digital weather and surface radar, and multifunction displays with more accurate fuel calculations. The Echo is expected to remain in service until the late 2030s. transition of Air Station Atlantic City's 12 MH-65D helicopters to the upgraded Echo configuration is expected to take approximately 10 months, and here we see the first of these dozen dolphins being delivered to the Air Station last month in a ceremony worthy of an incredibly powerful machine. During the upgrade period, the unit's 62 pilots and 104 aircrew members will undergo a three-week transition course at the Aviation Training Center in Mobile, Alabama. Aircrew and mechanics will undergo formal training specific to their roles and duties during the course, at which point they'll return to the fleet ready to serve and always prepared. I'm Daniel Nee for Shorebeat.